The Parliament was in session when the assailants stormed into the building and opened fire. Ministers had to barricade themselves in. Here's an audio recording of what happened there. I don't know. There's a bunch of, a bunch of gunshots. A guy with a shotgun? Yeah. I saw him coming. Where do we go? Where do we go? Okay. Um, I'm, in, I'm in a security office right now. Apparently, somebody has walked up to the front steps of Parliament single Hill with a, a with single shotgun. guy came in with a shotgun. Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper has called the attacker a terrorist. Reports say he was a convert to Islam. So let's see uh, what we know about the suspect. He was identified as Michael Zahaf Bibo, aged 32, a Canadian citizen of Algerian origin. Some media say he was recently designated as a high-risk traveller by the Canadian government. Police say at this stage, Zahaf Bibo is a suspect and haven't officially confirmed him as the gunman. Toronto-based war correspondent Eric Mogollis believes the shooting will fuel anti-Muslim sentiment in the country, no matter who is behind it. There probably will be more support for Canadian military operations against ISIS because everyone will, people will blame ISIS for this, whether they were behind it or not. Uh, there's a growing anti-Muslim sentiment in Canada, uh, and uh, the government is reaping political dividends from this because voters always like governments. Governments look tough and strong. The shooting rampage in Ottawa comes on the heels of a deadly hit-and-run incident on Monday. Authorities say that attacker was a terrorist inspired by Islamic State. The 25-year-old convert to Islam ran over two Canadian soldiers, killing one of them before he was shot dead by police. Following the attack, Canada raised its domestic terror threat level from low to medium. Since Canada joined US-led efforts to crush jihadists in Syria and Iraq, Islamic State has been urging assaults on Canadians. Canadians. Soldiers are frequently being targeted on home soil. Uh, back in 2009, 13 servicemen were killed in the Fort Hood shooting in America. The gunman was a Muslim who says he now wants to join Islamic State. Uh, the same year, Private William Long was killed in a recruiting office in Little Rock. The assailant was a Muslim convert and a radical Islamist. A similar attack, too, happened in France in 2012. The suspected Al Qaeda trained militant shot dead three paratroopers there, three children and and a rabbi also died in that attack. And then last year, there was the murder of British Army soldier drummer Lee Rigby was hacked to death by two UK Muslim converts in a street near his London barracks. As for the incident in Ottawa, its timing may somehow be right for authorities, as geopolitical analyst Eric Dreitster believes. This sort of an incident, not only is it not the norm in Canada, but it is certainly well-timed, certainly convenient for the Canadian authorities who have had an internal political uh, conflict emerging over their decision to join with the United States in the Middle East and the so-called war on the Islamic State. Remember that in order to justify any kind of a military operation, particularly for a country as demilitarized in many ways as Canada is, uh, they're going to need to sell it to the public and an event like this, a well-timed, as I said, event such as this certainly has that function. And we are getting reports the Canadian Parliament is scheduled to resume its work on Thursday. Of course, we'll be closely following the situation in Ottawa on air and also online too.